Well, we're standing at Fairfax Courthouse, and one of the most audacious events that ever occurred during the American Civil War occurred here early in the morning on the 9th of March of 1863, when John Singleton Mosby and 29 of his men came into Fairfax Courthouse and captured a Brigadier General while he was sleeping in bed. Well, my name's Don Hackinson. I've written uh, eight books and a couple documentary movies concerning John Singleton Mosby and his rangers that operated here in Northern Virginia. In January of 1863, this town of Fairfax Courthouse was occupied by Union troops. And there was large numbers of Union soldiers camped throughout the town. John Singleton Mosby started his guerrilla activities in January, February, and March of 1863, and he was becoming a pain in the side to the Union authorities. On the 8th of March of 1863, John Singleton Mosby went into Middleburg and he had dinner with Lorman Chancellor, who was the mayor of, of Middleburg. When he came out of the house, he, he mounted his horse and he wrote in his memoirs after the war that he said, I shall mount the stars tonight or sink lower than plummet ever sounded. Now, I'm not sure he really said that, but that's just a neat quote. He then got on his horse and rode out to Mount Zion Church and he met 29 of his men and they started making their way down the Little River Turnpike towards Fairfax. Finally, at two o'clock in the morning, they made their way on to Route 123 and came to the Fairfax Courthouse from the direction of Fairfax Station. Mosby would capture a couple uh, pickets before he entered the town, and then he makes it to the courthouse, which is right here, and there's a couple tents that he would capture some Union soldiers and a telegrapher. But he captured a Union private, and that Union private told him that at the Dr. William Presley Gunnell House was staying Brigadier General Edwin H. Stoughton. And Mosby would take five rangers and go to the Dr. William Presley Gunnell House, which was nearby. They walk up the steps and they enter his room and the general is soundly asleep in bed. Finally, he pulls off his gauntlets and he pulls up his bed shirt and Mosby gives him a whack. And the general jumps up and he says, what, what's going on? And Mosby says, have you heard of Mosby? And Stoughton goes, yes, have we captured him? And Mosby bit down and said, no, Mosby has captured you. Mosby makes his way back to Warrington and then to Culpeper. And in that raid, Mosby would capture a Brigadier General, two captains, 30 men, 58 horses, without a single shot being fired. Can you imagine? the history of that moment. And that's what happened here at Fairfax Courthouse.